For quite some time now, people have had a lot of different options at their disposable to straighten their teeth with. For the longest time, braces were the number one option, then we got Invisalign, and then some of the newer options came around like Candid and Direct Smile Club. And with the exception of braces, the latter three are very similar in that they use clear aligners to help straighten your teeth. I personally used Invisalign for a little over a year and had some awesome results, which I'll talk about in another video. But today we're talking about something in particular that you're going to need if you want to clean those aligners. So what are we waiting for? This is technically. Let's go. Let's go. So in this box is the latest and greatest in dental hygiene, more or less. I say that because I don't want to call it a trend, but it seems kind of trendy because this is just the latest offering that we have where people are using technology and making products to try and solve a problem, which I won't disagree. There is definitely a need for this type of product, but there are a couple of different competitors that you can choose from, and they're all coming around with these products where they clean your aligners. And I personally went with the Zima brand, which is called Dental Pod, but there are also some other brands that offer very similar product that does a very similar function, and ultimately, it's just gonna come down to price and preference as to which one you choose. But here we have Zima's Dental Pod, and I personally am really eager to check it out because I need to clean my aligners. So opening up the box, you get this little pamphlet. It says Zima Dental on it. Shows you how to use the dental pod if you're interested in reading. You also get a little sampler box of dental pod sterilizing tablets. More on that later. A little box carrying what I believe is the power, power cable. So you get a little AC adapter for your dental pod. But the main course, is going to be wrapped up here. Boom. Dental pod. Now there are four different color options that you can choose from. You have white, blue, rose pink, and a limited edition black, which I went with because it looks very sleek, but they all look just exactly the same, just with a different color. And, oh. We'll pretend that didn't happen. And on first touch, it actually just feels really nice. The outside is kind of like this almost rubberized texture. I dig it. It's something that's very soft to the touch. I like it. It doesn't feel plasticky and cheap, which is something you often wonder about with these companies that are selling their products online. You wonder about the build quality, but this is feeling really solid so far. On the back is a little AC port that you just use to plug in that power adapter we got earlier. And then on the front, there is a power button, which is a little bit hard to show on camera because it's kind of like a dark gray on the black color. But there is a power button that you're gonna use when the time comes to turn on your dental pod. Then we have the lid, obviously, it has dental pod inscribed right along the top. And then inside is, kind of looks like some kind of kitchenware that you'd use. It looks like a little pot with stainless steel inside. And actually not as big as I was expecting. This is probably no bigger or about the same size as a HomePod Mini. So if you don't have a whole lot of bathroom space to work with or you have a really cluttered bathroom counter, then have no fear, because this is gonna sit right in the corner, tucked away, and take up as little space as possible. So it has a small footprint, which is already a plus in my book. Now as far as packaging goes, there's not a whole lot to be said here. It's very minimal. It says Dental Pod on the front, Zima Dental on the back. It doesn't tell you anything about the product, but it does have a nice magnetic closure. They're assuming that you probably already read about the product online or used the pamphlet because the product itself is also very self-explanatory. It serves one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to clean your dental products. Anything that would go in your mouth, pretty much aligners, your Invisalign, dentures, retainers, things of that nature, they would all go in here and they get cleaned using ultrasonic vibrations. The gist of it is that once you plug it in, you're gonna put some water put one of these sterilizing tablets that they provide for you to sanitize the water and your product, and then press the power button. After about five minutes, it's gonna use those sonic vibrations to clean your retainers or your aligners. From the website, the magic is behind the 42,000 hertz that they're using to clean your products. 42,000 hertz is a really, really high pitch frequency that human ears can't pick up. Maybe your dogs could hear it, and it cleans your retainers using like, bubbles. So those 42,000 hertz, they produce a bunch of bubbles that pretty much attack your retainers. And through a series of pops and bursts, there's a bunch of energy that 
like the force would remove all the plaque, bacteria, gunk, and stuff that's on your retainers that's accumulated over the time that you've used it. And that all happens within the course of about five minutes, and according to the website, there's about 4,000 like, bubble bursts every second, which I'd be curious to know how they measured that, but that's all taking place in here. You just fill it with water, throw a tablet, five minutes later, and then you have some pretty clean retainers, which we're gonna to put to the test as soon as we fire this up. Now right out of the box, they do give you this starting pack of six sterilizing tablets to get you started with your dental pod in case you just wanna open up the box, clean your aligners really quick. But in case six isn't enough for you, they do have a bigger 30 tablet version to the price of $15. And that's about $2 a tablet, given that you get about two uses from each tablet, and you only need to do this as needed or maybe once a week. This should stretch out pretty nicely, and if you want to save a little bit more, you can also subscribe and save through their website. And the tablets come in pairs of two. So we got two right here. Keep out of reach of children. Don't let them eat these because these are not candy. Now before we drop this tablet into the water and it starts sizzling and dissolving, I actually want to show you guys the aligners that we're working with. So this is a before. I haven't used the dental pod at all, as you can tell, because they're a little bit cloudy. They've kind of gotten discolored because I've used them for over a year now. And although I've gotten replacements, they're still rigid enough where I don't need to replace them and get new ones. But just the sanitizing methods I've used in the years past have not worked on these at all. Zima tells you not to use toothbrushes on your Invisalign or your retainers because the brushes are really abrasive on like, the material, and so that can cause like, further damage or allow bacteria to grow, and all these kinds of reasons that you can read about on their website. Which is why they recommend something like a dental pod, and it doesn't have to be Zima, but any of the other brands, because they're using a non-abrasive technique to clean your aligners, where they're not using hard bristles or anything to go up against the plastic and the sensitive material of your aligners. Now hopefully you can see them on camera. They are cloudy, a little bit discolored, they've accumulated some stuff since I've used them. And although I've tried different things like brushing them and using toothpaste or using salt water, they just never have done the trick. So we're gonna pop these in. I'm gonna use a little bit of a time lapse to show how much time has passed and to get the full experience on camera. And then we'll take them out and see how they look after. Moment of truth. Let's open it up. They are a little foamy since they just came out of like all that, that sterilizing solution. Definitely not perfect, but I would say that they are cleaner than when they went in. They do also say that you can get about two uses from the tablet and you can run it more than once. So no harm in doing it again, just to see what kind of results we can get. Give another spin. So earlier when I was talking about the 42,000 hertz frequency that they use, although we can't hear that specific frequency, you can hear the machine. It's still pretty quiet, but it's not silent. So you can hear it vibrating inside to create all those bubbles and stuff, but it's definitely not that big of a distraction. While I didn't get everything perfectly, there is a noticeable difference from when I first put them in, and even on the second time, I think the second pass through also helped. There are a couple of spots where stuff wasn't removed, and that could just be because I used the toothbrush on it, and it probably caused some kind of like weather damage, or it allowed stuff to get in deeper than this is able to clean. So there are a couple spots on here where there's visible stuff still there and I'm not sure if that's abrasions or if that's just buildup of something but the discoloration has pretty much all gone away it was very obvious here in the front teeth like I was mentioning before it was very discolored around here on both parts of it the top and the bottom of the aligners like a lot of that discoloration has gone away I'd probably say about 90% of it been removed which is much better than it was because earlier it was really cloudy if I had used them a lot sooner because I've been using this specific set of aligners for a little over a year and didn't have this at my disposal. Had I used it earlier, probably would have been able to prevent a lot of this other stuff from happening to it. But now that it's at least cleared up some of that discoloration, the yellowing, and just the cloudiness, I think that's a worthy improvement. So definitely worth the money. I mean, a hundred bucks can't beat that just to be able to clean your aligners. 
So at the end of the day, yes, it's another piece of technology that you have to buy, spend money on in order to clean something you already have. But in Dental Pod's defense, it's actually saving you money by doing that because in the long run, not only is it cleaning and sanitizing your Invisalign and your retainers, something that you put in your mouth on a daily basis, but it's also extending the life of them because by maintaining them and cleaning them, you don't have to replace them as soon. And replacements for Invisalign retainers, I know from personal experience, they're several hundred dollars and they could have gone up since then. So spending a hundred dollars on this guy is definitely going to save you money in the long run and also keep your Invisalign clean so that they're not all gross looking and stuff when you put them in. Now this info isn't actually from the Zima website, but I did get it directly from their customer support team, which goes to show just how much consideration the engineers actually put into designing the dental pod. Because apparently there are a lot of people out there who use jewelry cleaners to clean their dental appliances. But there's a red flag with that because they're jewelry cleaners and not dental appliance cleaners. And two issues to raise with that. The first being that jewelry cleaners work in a similar fashion and that they use sonic vibrations to clean whatever's inside. And that's about where the similarities stop because they often use a one-size-fits-all approach to clean the contents inside. Zima took this into consideration and they actually implemented a feature called dynamic feedback. So whenever you fill your dental pod with your water, sterilizing tablet, and your appliance, turn it on, the dental pod actually senses the contents inside and gives the appropriate response to clean them. The second issue is that when you're using sonic vibrations to clean anything, jewelry or dental appliances, it generates excess heat. And that's totally fine for heat resistant metals and gemstones, but not so much for your retainers that are made of plastic and sometimes glue. So to combat this, Zima actually implemented a temperature sensor that prevents the dental pod from getting too hot. The average temperature of the human mouth is about 37 degrees Celsius, and so they use that as their standard, and they make sure that the dental pod would never get too hot and overheat to whatever's inside it. Because the last thing you want is your retainers coming out warped and melted and they don't fit anymore. And to top it off, jewelry cleaners aren't meant to be in a bathroom setting, whereas the dental pod was designed with that purpose in mind. So you can rest assured that your dental pod will meet all the waterproofing requirements needed to sit next to your bathroom sink. For the record, Zima was nice enough to send me a dental pod to use in this video, but I was under no obligation to give it a raving 5 star review. So everything I've said has just been my personal opinion, and in fact I would totally have paid full price for this just for the sake of keeping my aligners clean. Truthfully, I wish I'd known about it sooner, so I could have started cleaning my aligners sooner, but I was a little bit late to the game. Which is why I'm encouraging everyone to at least check out the dental pod, see what it's about, and if it can fit into your budget and on your bathroom sink. It's really hard to know these days what's a gimmick and what's not, but as we clearly saw, I filled it with water, put a sanitizing tablet in, threw my aligners in, and after 5 minutes, they came out cleaner than when they went in. So kudos to the engineers at Zima Dental. If this video was helpful in helping you decide whether or not you want to pick up a dental pod for yourself, then definitely take advantage of the code that I'm including below for 10% off your purchase. And while you're there, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Let's go!